What up, YouTube? Happy Thanksgiving, and you're watching Atkins Nature Aquariums. So it is the week of Thanksgiving and I hope you guys are all having a good week and seeing the families, having good holidays this season. But I'll give you guys a little update on the reef tank. So for the new guys here, water box 45, all that stuff, AI Prime, AI Blade, sump and a skimmer, ATO, blah blah blah. You don't care about that. But, I did get some new corals, like that, this little Garf Bonsai I think it's called, definitely browned out, but it'll color up. Got this orange chalice with a purple streak in it, yep. A Wilsoni coral, and that's about it. But I did, um mount some other corals that have been sitting on the sand bed for too long mounted the bower banky over there put this guy up on that so hopefully he can like encrust there alveopora it's coming back but we're, we'll see um you can see there's a ton of little spots of bubble algae so i gotta take care of that definitely uh siphon that out the water change get that out because yeah that's pretty much the vein of my existence right now is darn bubble algae I moved the sign arena over this cor this corner because it's a little bit lower light I have the prime off on this side because it's blasting these acropora but yeah the AI blade is not set very high so that's why there's a bit of a you can tell there's a color difference but also an intensity difference and I've kind of done that on purpose just because this is a mixed reef now I tried to stay away from that but you know what the pretty sticks and stuff you know my buddy gave me one and then it just tim timbled down the road from there started with the stylo and it's doing well and this Montipora Another Montipora and Acropora. Got five different Acroporas. I can't really tell you what they are. I mean, I know that's a Slimer. A green Stag. I don't know what that one is. That one uh, was sold to me as a cactus. I don't know what that means. That one was a pink blossom. I don't know. Kind of looks like a tenuous. But Bonsai? Yeah, I don't know. Not a big... Uh, yeah, I don't know the Latin names too well, but I'm starting to learn. Like, I've got this lithophylon. I just started from a little broken frag. My branching Cyphastria. Another cool coral. Really hoping that one takes off. Fabios, Chalice, Aiken, Echinata, mushrooms all over the place. Got my zoos. Just a big mitt, big bunch, different ones. Got my limelight hiding a fora in the back because that's an aggressive motherfucker. Porky Finger Gorgonian, that's a really cool coral. And y'all might have think that my candy cane, Ian, where's your green candy cane? I had to move it back here. And it's getting no love, and I think I'm gonna frag it up soon. 
and put it on the frag rack. Got to put up the frag rack again. Didn't want to have to do that, but I think that's what I'm going to have to do. That thing's getting big, and I would like to have it back out in the front to start out from another small pond. This candy cane, growing well. Yeah, fish, fish doing well. Well, for the most part. Benny, not sure what really happened. His his eye got bulgy, and now it's no longer really bulgy. But yeah, I don't know what happened. I might have hit it on something. But yeah, that's my tail spot, Benny. I also have a Central Pygy RD angelfish which some might say is what you can't have an angelfish in your mixed reef tank he's gonna nip all your polyps watch him where is he nipping on um, the rocks now sometimes he might go over and take a little smell or a little nip from one of the SPS's but 99% of the time he's nipping around the coral he nips the coral, it's not like he's trying to eat the coral. Possum wrasse, still doing good. Chunky, colorful, awesome personality. And the funny thing is, between the possum wrasse and the angelfish, the angelfish will pick fights, right? Because he's the king shit. And sometimes he'll go over to the wrasse, nip the tail, and the wrasse has no fucks to give. And he turns right back around and chases him all around the tank. And it's really funny. And it's not even like a frantic chase. It's not like a zoom, zoom, zoom. He, they're just, wah, 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 wah. Ha, ha, you can't get me. Wah, 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 wah. You can't get me. And I really got to try and get that on video one of these days because it is hilarious. The royal grama flares up at the other fish all the time, but he's really all bark and no bite. What a really cool fish. Like, colorful as hell. And I'm trying to find, where is the star of the show? Little Mando, the Mandarin. It's not the official name, but that's just what I've been calling him, so I guess that might be the official name. And our snail and uh, conch snail and the uh, tuxedo urge. Bam! Let's feed these guys a little bit. So, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, let's give them a little feast. Let's see, what are we going to feed them today? Oh, this might be criminal to some of you reefers out there, but I'm going to feed them extreme community crave, a spirulina and krill. So, I know it looks like it's made for a bunch of freshwater fish, but that's because I got it from Aquarium Co-op and they made them do that. The old packaging was more towards the saltwater fish, but the freshwater people wouldn't use it, so they made them change the packaging up a little bit. And you can't even see him, because I'm bad at my job. But there we go. Let's put in another little pinch. Another little pinch. Round two. There we go. Everybody eats this stuff, man. You see the angelfish? Eats it. Royal Grama, Blenny, the Rass, they all go after it. Even the little mandarin. If it settles on the ground, if I turn the flow off, which I'm not going to do, but because I will spot feed him later tonight. And he will pick up any bits that get on the ground. He's a fat little boy, man, a fat little mandarin. But all in all, the tank's been really stable. 
just still dosing my alpha reef and uh, that's it I haven't tested the tank in a long time I need to test it but uh really I'm just kind of feeling it feeling the tank with my eyes and smell taste I don't know how it tastes in corals. Don't eat your damn corals. But, uh, really, it doesn't have to be super com complicated to do this. It's just, you gotta be on top of observation and, uh, have some experience of how to keep a reef. I'm not saying I am just some fucking guru or some shit, but, um, I don't think it's as difficult as some people make it out to be, and I know, like, even my tank seems a little outlandish with some of the equipment I use, but, we should give you guys a little update on the tank upstairs. Let's go. Hi, Boots. Sorry about the TV, guys, but, uh, yeah, here's the 10 gallon in all its glory. Uh, it kind of looks like shit with the filter. Let's take that off. There. Yeah, I run this tank really in the day spectrum. And, uh, yeah, this is just my softy tank. Almost three years running. Yes, baby. Yes. And these are the clownfish I got from Shan. 503 Aquatics. We're living in here. Living their best life. Hoping I can get some babies from them. But they are a frostbite and a platinum snowstorm? I think? I don't know. I'm not the best with the clownfish names. But they are pretty. And this is just a super simple hang on back heater, automatic feeder, and an auto top off. Like, legit, this is not very difficult to do. I made this controller board by myself. This is some foods that I feed. Auto top off reservoir. I think I should change the lines. They're getting a little old. Almost three years old. Should probably change them. But yeah, just some big leathers and green star polyps and like this cabbage leather. It's my favorite. I don't clean it that much, but yeah, it's a simple, easy tank. And uh, now I'm getting attacked by kitties. So I think that is our cue to move downstairs. Oh, showing y'all some freshwater tanks. Let's see how fast y'all click off the video now. You reefers. Just stay. Stay for a little bit longer. I promise I won't be too long. But this is my 75... Ooh, they were in real fast. 75 gallon with a 40 gallon sump. Right here. Yup, yup, yup. And I gotta get the float valve set on it. It's gonna have a gravity fed auto top off. It's got a Nero 3 on it. I need to move that plant. And I'm putting an automatic filter roll it, roller on it. I already got it or ordered. So it's going to be a pretty high-tech cichlid aquarium with my rainbows. And I did get some new fish. These little Satanoperca Juropari. Just little guys. Ooh, you see the blue phantom pleco. Very nice. Very nice. There's the other Giro Pari sitting right there. Little Siamese algae here. I mean, it's not a true biotope, guys, but, you know, I don't think the best of them's mine, they're tank mates. And there's a Severum in there, but he don't like the camera. They're like, feed me, bro! Where's my fucking food? Yeah, it'll come. It will come. Okay, so back to salt water. Let's 
So, yeah. Salt water does not have to be that complicated. Just want to let you guys know that. And, uh, hope you guys have happy holidays. I really thank you guys for sticking with that uh, fresh water bit. I uh, try not to intermix them too much, but, um, for you salt water guys that watch, I am a freshwater guy at heart. I started with freshwater, and uh, I'm never going to give my babies up. They're my babies, and I'm still fascinated by the freshwater world and our Amazon rivers particularly, and the Congo. But the Congo is very hard to get fish from of, and it is very hard to get information of. So right now I'm more focusing on South America, because that's where I can get a lot of information and we can get a lot of cool fish from South America. So, for your reefers out there, fresh water's cool too. But, moving on. The tank is getting pretty full. It's finding difficult to find places for coral even though there's still empty rock. I just don't like to have a bunch of small corals cramped next to each other. So I try to give them as much room as I can, but we'll see how this grows out, and, uh, yeah. So, to continue on your next video, uh, leave a comment down below. What did you like? What was your favorite part of the video? If you have any questions, feel free to drop them. I like answering questions to the best of my ability, and if I can't, I'll let you know. But, uh, yeah. You guys have happy holidays and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!